today we're making a wreath. Um, so in your kit, you have received a grapevine um, wreath. The beauty of it is that you'll see that there's a lot of little pieces of wood, um, like chips, kind of floating through. So it's going to be common to find like little scraps that may come off. All your grapevine um, twines have actually been hand, hand put together. So that is very common. It's not going to affect your wreath whatsoever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be utilizing all the little crevices within the wood. Right? All these little openings to insert our items. So what to expect in your kit? You all received a floral wire, which is the last finishing item that we apply to our wreath um, at the very end. Um, so we're going to put that aside. You'll receive some um, pines, faux pines. Um, the beauty of them is that you could actually remove each little pine off of the little stem. If you wish to, you could kind of just snap it off where you need to. Um, you also received a pine cone, berries, and then holly leaves. Okay. So um, with this, you're going to notice that every pick that we shipped is bendable. So you can kind of move it around, adjust where needed to, right? So um, there's many variations to create a wreath. Um, if you like to expose more of like the ending part, like more grapevine exposure, then you can leave either one side from the top, the bottom, the side, or the bottom exposed. And what do I mean by exposed? Here, I'm going to show you very quickly how to start to insert your item. So I'm going to walk you through about two, two different designs, one which is grapevine exposure and one which is more of an all-over wreath. So with um, each wreath, you're going to notice that every pick is bendable, right? So for example, to insert the wreath, you're just going to place it right through the wreath, right? And you notice on the other side that you see the little plastic insert. So you're going to adjust it in. And then on the other side, you're going to tuck it inside into the actual wreath itself. Right? And then you could actually bend and adjust um, each leaf and open it however you like to your liking. Then my, my other wreath. Um, my other pine, I, I apologize for that. Um, you're going to stick it through as well. Now, if you wanted extra security, you're more than welcome to um, apply hot glue. But honestly, you really don't need it. As you can see, I'm kind of like tucking it in. Right? And I'm shaking it. I do not have any floral wire. And it's pretty secure. All right. Then we could go on the other side, right? Like over here, I like to insert it inward. And there's really no right or wrong way to design a wreath. So let's say you could start playing and then you decide to change your mind. You could easily take off the pick and, pl and, and place it in another location. So for example, here I am adding few picks over here keeping it those two together so what I'm achieving here is a design where um, this is gonna be like the bottom part of my wreath um, I do have one more here I'm gonna tuck this in you could either tuck it in on the pop above here I'm gonna go in add my berries to the bottom I like to add some symmetry. So what I do to one side, I do the other. Okay. Then I go in and start to add my holly leaves. The holly leaves could be a little temperamental sometimes. And um, what I did was this little leaf right here, I just tucked it in through. The little grapevine. I'm gonna do the same on this this other side as well. So 
So now I have holly leaves on one side, on the other. This other holly leaf I'm gonna tuck up here just to add more pop of color to the right above my pines. Same on the left. Um, and then I plan to position my pine cone along the center. So in order to position my pine cone, here's my floral wire. I'm just gonna unwind the floral wire so that it's it turns into a complete line, um, straight line. Right. And what I do is, here's my pine cone. I tuck it in and around one of the little crevices so it goes once around and then I place it right on top of my wreath and then I go all around so that now it is covered. Then I would just go in and cut the excess wire. So this is one design if you choose to keep the wreath design towards the bottom and exposing the top, right? Now, another thing you could do is rotate it. If you rotate your wreath, um, now your elements are gonna be to the left and then your exposed, exposed grapevine is gonna be to the right. Um, so now that's one design. You could also then rotate it again one more time so that all your elements are on the top and the exposures on the bottom. Or you could do one more time and keeping your elements to the right and exposure to the left. And you could just um, revise the angle of your pine cone. Um, this, is, this is one wreath design. If you wish to have grapevine wreath exposure, you could still add you know, any ribbon that you may like to tie to your own holiday decor or any memorabilia that you like to add. If you're not a big fan of the red, don't feel obligated, no need to add any of the little berries if you want it to be more green, totally okay. There's not, um, don't feel restricted to utilize every single item here. Um, if, if you like less, totally fine with that. So that is exhibit A of One Wreath Design. Um, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just unwind everything and I'm going to walk you through how to create a wreath design um, with an all over design. So if you don't want, excuse me here, I'm just tucking everything. And as you could see, I'm not even using glue and then all my supplies are nice and put together. Um, the beauty of not using hot glue um, and just using floral wire is that come after the holidays, you still wanna keep your wreath. Uh, you could always update it. You could add some spring flowers or summer flowers and it could be a wreath that changes with um, the seasons. All right, so from here, to create an all-over design, same instruction, right? We're gonna tuck in all wreaths. I'm gonna alternate it going around. So the pine just alternates going around. So I have the pines going circular in one direction. Okay. Now that I've included all of the pines, I'm gonna go in and start to insert my holly leaves. Kind of like in a process like every other.
and just really focusing on kind of filling in your whole wreath. Then I'll go in, add a berry diagonally from each other. Again, I'm going to position my pine cone in the location I desire to say that would be my bottom or my right side. Also, placing the little wire through the little crevice of the pine cone, and then I start to wrap it around. And this is option two. This is with an all over wreath design element, and then you're utilizing all the leaves. You can continue to tuck and open each little leaf so that there's more volume to it. If you need to tame any pine or remove any little pine piece, you can and kind of tuck in on the other side, just like I did there. Um, but this is design number two. So either you could go with the design number one, which is having grapevine exposure either on the top, side, bottom, or right, or um, separating out all your supplies and layering them all around your wreath. I hope you enjoyed your video and um, wish you luck with your wreath design. And please let us know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help.